Hello, how's everybody doing? I have been asked um, to show people on how I do my magic circle. I do not do it like everybody else. I don't like having the yarn wrapped around my fingers. It just bothers me for some reason. And I don't like doing change just because it takes extra stitches and extra time. And so I'm going to show you on how I've been doing it since I was seven years old. And so this is how this goes. And so what I like doing is I like taking a long tail, usually about a hand and a half or so. I don't usually measure. I just do a long tail. You're going to do your magic. You're just going to do your regular slip knot on how you have been doing it. However you do your slip knot, that's what you want. I am using a larger hook just from this demonstration. You will use the hook according to what your pattern calls for in your yarn. Go ahead and slip it on your hook. Tighten the slip knot up. And then you're going to hold the yarn like how you would normally crochet. This is how I like to hold my crochet threads. You could hold it in the way that suits you best. What you're going to do is take the tail end, you're going to take the end, face it towards your working yarn, and you're going to create a circle with this. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be laying the circle on top of the knot, and then when you get that there, you're just going to hold it. Uh, make sure the tail kind of dips down and creates a half a circle on top of that. We're going to start creating the six crochets, and you're just going to go under and then grab. Okay, that's one. And then you're just going to keep doing the same thing again. Two. Three. And I like holding the I like holding the chains and the yarn with your back finger as I go. That way it don't slip. So I'm kind of holding it against the needle just because it works better that way for me. Three, four. And um, I have a lot of carpal tunnel and nerve damage in my wrist and my hands too. So um, this, this has always been easier for me this way. Five, six. So you're gonna have six chains. Once you get to six chains, you're going to tighten this half away. You are not going to do it tight at all. What you're going to be wanting is your half. You're going to be wanting to leave a hole in the middle for now. So you're going to pull that. We're not all the way closed, but you're going to leave a little bit of hole for now until you get to your after your second round. Now, usually the second round of magic circles, it's usually an increase of two in each single crochet so you're gonna just do that automatically and you need to remember not to hold your tension tight on here because if you hold your tension tight on here you're not going to be able to um, crochet your knot your knots very well all right so that's two and usually the first you know usually getting around the first round is usually pretty hard so I mean it's it can be challenging I always fight I always fight with it so <laughs> But once you get going on it, it makes it really simple. And by having the hole open, you're also leave. It's not going to be tight, and it's the, the the magic circle. It's kind of, it's kind of fluffy and it's loose. You won't have to fight with your your um, chains. Two, four, six, eight. Oops! I if I had it through both. Oops. I'm not used to working with uh, this big of a hook. Usually I work with a, a really, really small hook. Usually um, G's, H's, or G's. and <laughs> So. Okay, and then after you're, you get your 12 in, you still have the hole. Now you're gonna take the rest of this tail and you're gonna pull it through tight, as tight as you can. And that's gonna close it up for you. Now, what I like doing, this is where I like to put in my stitch marker at this point. 
um, but I like to finish up using the tail as my stitch marker. So I'll just take it and lay the string over the first stitch. Um, I also use, after when I get two or three Lay, um, two or three rows, then I'll add a safety pin. You could use stitch markers. Um, my grandma used safety pins, and so that's what I, I use. Uh, like to use as the safety pins, or until, but I will use this yarn up until the end. And um, so that's your magic circle. I hope that this has helped you, as it helps me um, and makes it easier for you. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you like to see any more of my yarn stuff or my photography stuff uh, and if you have any hints or want to know how to do something easier make a comment and I'll try to see if I can't help you out thanks for watching